Hello, everyone, and welcome. He gives defensive coordinators nightmares because of his ability. They're going to have a hard time slowing him down. No, he just doesn't have those weaknesses, those flaws. The whole playbook available, and he is a dude. Looking for space. It's Hardy. You're not getting him on the ground. Still on his feet. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. And busting big runs like this, we always talk about the running backs, but it's the big boys up front paving their lanes, those receivers gluing on those DBs, and make these plays really go for big yardage. And how about those receivers? Not just the glamour of catching passes, but doing some dirty work, too. No doubt. When they get on those guys in the second level and get on those DBs, that's when you break those big, long runs. Right back to the well. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. From inside the 40 at the 37, it's first down. He's going to pass. Just a short pass to the tight end. Makes the grab, and he's dragged down. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game day. Quick handoff. They get him stopped after he pick up a five to the 28. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four down territory or if they just pick up the first here. Nice move to keep moving. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. I think throughout the week in practice, when they were game planning their opening script, I don't even know if they envisioned it going as well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance, really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game is working to perfection. Quarterback on the keeper. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. I understand. Listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. And he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Leaves it with the running back. Give him about a yard on the play. It's down at the 10. Third and long, and they'll need to get it close to the goal line to convert. They go to the draw, and he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. At the nine-yard line, now fourth down. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. A relatively short field goal try from 26 yards out. He got it. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before. And here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates.
teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Great job by the defense winning those early downs. Now you get him in a predictable situation. Third and long. You bring in more DBs, more speed, more fun blitz packages. You get to have a little fun. Go get the quarterback. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. Third down, understanding exactly where the sticks are. You know, you, you've got to stop certain routes so they don't get to certain depths. Quarterback completes him, gets another first down. Got to be a little bit more mindful of where those sticks are. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Leaves it with the back. Still on his feet at the 45. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it. Hold it. Up and up and Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got an open man. And he'll be brought down. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than they did here. But it's still a positive game. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. They run the reverse. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, as an offense, oftentimes you try the reverse play because you're trying to take advantage of a defense over pursuing and by a lot of defensive team speed. Didn't work right there. Great discipline by this defense. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Deep shot for the end zone. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And that's just a huge miss opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. And here comes the punt team. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. And that is an excellent punt as it lands out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. On the run, it's Hardy. Discards a man. Able to make his way past the sticks for the first down, and the time is going to drain out here in the first quarter. Switched ends of the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. This offense will start doing business from their own 18-yard line on first down. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. The inside handoff. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. To the ground to try to move the chains. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse's showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. From the shotgun, they'll run it. 
A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll give it to the back. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And with that last carry into triple digits, over 100 yards for the day. And he's showing you power. He's showing you speed. He's showing you make you miss. He really is showing you he's a complete back. And by the way, it's still the first half. They have just bloodied their nose on this drive. All on the ground. It's first and ten. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Blim and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Got some work to do on second down after that last one. They need 13. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. A third and long coming up here. Looking for a man. It's Jarvis. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. The punt team makes its way onto the field. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. And no shot at a return here as the punt goes out of bounds. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. They'll leave it with him. A solid run there as he'll be marked down at the 15-yard line. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Grabbed in the backfield. It's more. And this one will be stopped for no gain. The defense, you have to have great eyes. You have to have good vision on the quarterback to be able to see it. You can tell he's throwing the football right now. Watch the defense react, come up, get the wide receiver on the ground. He goes nowhere. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. But in the backfield, it's Strickland. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. Well, it's third down, you're getting it to your back in the passing game to the perimeter. You're just hoping he can make a guy miss and use his athleticism and speed, but a way better job tackling that time defensively, now setting up fourth. They bring the punter onto the field now. Second time today, they've been forced to punt. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Opening snap of this drive comes from the 38-yard line. They'll throw it on first down. And he dropped it. Just didn't look the thing all the way in. Just got to finish the play through the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. To throw, it's Jarvis. He's taking the shot. And he intercepts it. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Great job by the freshman. Kept his eyes in the right place and made the play. What a nice catch by the defensive back. Listen, a lot of times you see DBs get in position to make plays. But there's a reason they play DB and not wide receiver. Great job finishing the interception, catching the ball, making a big play. Now they'll try to cash in this drive. First and 10 from the 50. 
Wide receiver coming across in motion. Trying to find his man on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Williamson. And that play just never got started as he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. How about the job in recognition by the defense? They knew exactly what they were trying to set up, and they had multiple defenders surrounding that intended target so that there was nowhere for him to go once he got the ball. He's back to throw on second down. Fires to the wideout. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Great job by the defense dialing up some pressure on third down. They hit the quarterback and forced the incompletion. And here comes the punt team. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. And the offense takes the field eager to go back to work. Dropping back, it's Jarvis. Finds his tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. They got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. Works the middle of the field. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. They can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's for He lobs one high down the left side. And they weren't able to make the connection. They were looking for an explosive play. I know that shot down the field was incomplete, but you got to keep taking shots. Those receivers love to go deep. It gives them a breath of fresh air. They get more excitement. They're going to the quarterback with a little bit more juice because you know you're feeding them. So I would keep taking deep shots down the field. Right back up top on second and ten. He's got it. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. On the defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. And that big gainer on the last one has them ready to go from inside the 10. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. This defense doesn't even have a chance to break after just giving up an explosive play. You get lined up, and all of a sudden, they're throwing it over your head again into the end zone. They better get ready, lined up. I'd expect another shot coming up. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Looking to throw, it's Jarvis. They've got the play bottled up. Fumble, it's out! Well, the offense looks as if they fell on the fumble, and they'll keep the ball. They'll immediately call timeout. Great job by the defense forcing the fumble, but a bad, unfortunate bounce, and the offense pounces back on it. Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. And they can't make the connection on third down. Yeah, in third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. They'll try to salvage Number a field goal on this drive. On and he'll try to knock through a short one his second of the day. This one from 23. It's good.
so they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He's got an alley. He's going to get loose. They won't get him. It's a touchdown. He is headed to the sideline with a little bounce in his step after scoring on that kick return. And he should have some bounce in his step. How about the effort weaving in and out, covering all that space, great blocking on the play, and he does the rest. You don't put guys back deep that can't roll. And you could see when he got in the open field, he rolled. Try. And they move on top with the extra point, 7-6. to six. Not much coaches love more than finding points on special teams, and that 94-yard touchdown return gave it to them. To get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. From inside his own 15, looking for a crevice. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw in Huntsville. Looks as if we're set to crank it up here in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. And the offense back on the field, ready to dial up ball plays. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23, a pickup of four. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Rides to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess. Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off. Great job getting the backfield, making the play. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Wide open downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't hook up. And, uh, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. On the run, it's Strickland. Only a couple there, and now staring at third and eight. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. They've got the ball in midfield, but they're facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got him downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Hey, listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. Down to the 26-yard line and a first down. Looking to move it through the air. Right down the middle. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Yeah, and you use these running.
running back so much in the passing game now, and you expect him to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. This offense has a second down play. Trying play action. Pressure coming. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. You gotta love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and sell it. Field goal is good. They were able to get a field goal on board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. A first down for the offense. He's looking to throw it. Gets it out quickly. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Complete some of these hitch throws early. You're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that. And then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. Get it out on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. They'll try the run. Stuffed almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Gonna run it. It's Hardy. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. One offense, you've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're getting tremendous movement up front. They're climbing in the second level and really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. They'll throw it on first down. That pass is incomplete. Another incompletion, and I've said that a lot, and these teams are just struggling. I mean, the offense just doesn't know what to do. Nothing's working, ground game, throw game. It's kind of been a rock fight on both sides. Now on second down after the incompletion. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive linemen. They want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest, makes them realize they got to play the run, too. Great play call. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. A little pre snap eye candy for the defense. Gets it out fast. 
They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. Everybody on the same page there on blitz pickup, right? Offensive line, everybody communicating, understanding where they have to work to give their QB time to make an accurate throw and pick up the first. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. To the air on first down. Got his man quickly. There to make the tackle, and with that, we'll head to the fourth quarter. We'll start the quarter off. It's about to snap it on second down. The back goes in motion. Wants to throw on second down. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. They've got it first and ten from the 25. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. On first down from the 13-yard line. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Going for six. And it's incomplete. He was looking to the end zone and trying to get six. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. And that's one he'd like to have back. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking for space. It's Hardy. And they'll finally make the tackle at the three-yard line. How nice is it as a play caller when you've got a running back as good as this guy, right? I mean, you can just dial up conservative run calls. Nothing has to be too tricky, too fancy. You just know he's going to go make good things happen. Even when it's not blocked properly, he is still finding ways to rip off long runs. This guy now has over 150 yards. It's snagged in the end zone. Touchdown. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space in the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. If he can make this one, the lead will be three. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Opening play of this drive comes from the 13-yard line. The gift to the back. Navigates that mass of bodies and gets four out to the 17. It's just so nice to know you can start off on a first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll do it himself. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Hard running there. 
Finally pulled down, but not before moving the chains for a first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Right away after picking up a first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run physicality, now it opens up everything else. And the big tight end, a lot of times, that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you can tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. No gain on first down after the incompletion. Now second and ten from the 40. They'll give him a couple. That leaves him with third and eight. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. Caught, close to the marker, it's Williamson. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. There's a reason third down is called the money. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Now they've got it at the 44 on first and 10. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. It's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute drive. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Well, they don't pick up the first down there, but in this two-minute situation, they need their quarterback to be decisive, to be accurate, and make really good decisions. And we'll see what he's able to do as they inch closer and closer towards the goal line. They'll go five wide on second and eight. He's looking to throw. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. Man, it can be dangerous when quarterbacks get outside the pocket. They can stress your defense so bad. You better chase them. You got to keep running as hard as you can and try to get to him before he can throw that football, and especially square those shoulders up. Nice job by the defense continuing to pursue, even though he got outside the pocket. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. And that pass picked off. Bringing it back. The 40 inside the 20 and he'll take this one all the way home and into the end zone for a touchdown and what a job in coverage by the defense first the defender able to get his hand on the ball and tip that up into the air it lands right into his buddy's hands he has the convoy and it is off to the races They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. He'll bring it out. It's Young. 
The rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Now this offense is back on the field. Wants to throw on first down. Fires to the big fella. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Grab near the marker. It's Moore. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. He saw man coverage, and the idea, just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let him work, David. See man and, and see the cushion and see the guy backed up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive game. Looking to go up top on first down. And he fired a bullet in, but it's incomplete. And that's where quarterbacks, you know, they got to be very assertive. They got to believe what they see and really pull the trigger. But the longer they wait and they get off rhythm or off timing, a lot of times it ends up in incomplete passes. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Wants to go up top. Get him some heat. And that's a live ball behind the line. And they get the fumble back, but time is still dwindling away. They got to get it going. They get the timeout call with seven seconds left on the clock. On third and long, try to convert through the air. He's taking a deep shot. And the pass is incomplete, and the ball game is complete. Sometimes it's just not your day. Things just didn't work, and that seemed to be the case here. Yeah, they, they didn't get the W. They didn't do enough. Uh, but now you start to think about what could I have done differently? What do I need to become more offensively? Defensively, what can I morph into to make those extra plays, Jesse? That might be the difference in the next game that I play. Yeah, David, they just need a little bit more. They need a little bit better effort next week. They're going to need better preparation this week in practice. There's no doubt this team has a lot of talent, but we just need a little bit more to ensure that this doesn't happen next week. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so 